I'm Robert Vonderheide. I'm the director of the Abramson Cancer Center at the University of Pennsylvania. Early on in my laboratory, one of my postdoctoral students, Kate Byrne, applied and received a grant from CRI, which made all the difference to us as we were exploring novel immune mechanisms in pancreatic cancer. I joined the CRI Scientific Advisory Board and got involved in other grant reviews and met other investigators and the other leaders of CRI to the point where when it came time for us to bring those ideas from the laboratory to the clinic, uh, we once again turned to CRI for support. They were first in and, and offered a way forward for us to test this idea. The idea was to combine chemotherapy with various types of immune therapy. In some cases, immune therapy that uh, by itself was effective for patients with lung cancer or melanoma, but had had a very poor track record for patients with pancreatic cancer. And we were able to show in the clinical trial that there are novel combinations of chemotherapy and immunotherapy that will work together to offer benefit for patients with pancreatic cancer. And, and we're working on new variations of that going forward. Really what we're talking about is for a disease such as pancreatic cancer, using the immune system in a way we haven't before and to use it selectively. A certain therapy for a certain patient, but a different type of therapy for a different type of patient. We're, we're not going to be able to use the same therapy for every patient, not in pancreatic cancer. CRI believed that from the beginning. They are patient first, they are goal oriented, you know, what can this do to help patients? And they literally put their money behind this uh, support. They literally put their sweat equity behind this. And when we hit tough spots, when we face challenges, you bet CRI is among my first phone calls to say, do you have some ideas? How can we go forward? And so it's a partnership. It's in, in some ways unique in cancer research foundations to feel that partnership, not just at the beginning, not just at the time of awarding the grant, but the whole way through the process. And when you've reached the completion of the trial and you're thinking about next steps, CRI is the one calling me saying, okay, let's keep going. This was promising. What, what do you need? How can we help? In order to capture that moment, CRI is okay with taking risks, okay with an idea that may sound not mainstream, but has the potential for big impact. Not all of these ideas work out, of course, but if you don't invest in such ideas, you, you'll miss out on the ones that do make it. And, and so CRI has been there at the start of what used to be called crazy ideas and now actually are standard therapies for patients. In the future, we're going to be talking a lot about prevention, survivorship, and this is where cancer research is going. CRI is there, uh, understanding the different types of perspectives needed, the different types of technologies needed. Computational bioinformatics has become a high priority. CRI understands that, they're investing in that. It's, it's incredibly important. It's as important as the wet lab experiments. Now the so-called dry lab and computational biology is is going to be fundamental for us going forward. Um, nevertheless, the, the impact of applying our knowledge of immunology to prevent cancer, n not just treat it once it happens, is um, the most exciting uh, aspiration that we all have. We share that with CRI.